Imagine a night sky filled with stars. Now what if I told you that on our planet there are more trees than those stars in our galaxy? Yes, you heard that right. The sheer number of trees on Earth is mind-boggling. Scientists estimate that there are approximately 3 trillion trees on our planet. To put that into perspective, that's more than seven times the world's population. Now, you might wonder how this number stacks up against the number of stars in our galaxy. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, is estimated to house between 100 billion to 400 billion stars. That's a lot of stars, but still not even close to the number of trees on Earth. These estimates, of course, are based on complex scientific methods involving satellite imagery, ground surveys, and mathematical models. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember that our own planet is teeming with a forest of its own stars. Ever wondered how long it takes for the sun's light to reach us? Let's delve into that. The sunlight we bask in began its journey about 8 minutes and 20 seconds ago. Yes, you heard that right. This time lag is due to the incredible distance light has to cover from the sun, to our home planet. But how does light travel that fast? It's all thanks to the speed of light, which is mind-bogglingly fast, clocking in at roughly 186,000 miles per second. At this speed, light can circle the Earth seven and a half times in just a single second. Now imagine light making a journey of about 93 million miles from the Sun to Earth. Even at its breakneck speed, it takes light approximately 8 minutes and 20 seconds to cover this vast distance. So when you next feel the sun's warmth, remember, that light began its journey to you just over 8 minutes ago. Did you know grasshoppers use their bellies to hear? That's right, these fascinating creatures have a unique anatomy that sets them apart from many other insects. Instead of having ears located on their heads like humans, or on their legs like some insects, grasshoppers have their auditory organs nestled neatly in their bellies. These auditory organs, or tympanal organs, are small patches of ultra-thin cuticle that vibrate in response to sound waves. This vibration stimulates sensory cells, sending signals to the grasshopper's brain, effectively allowing it to hear. This unusual placement of ears gives grasshoppers a unique advantage in detecting the approach of predators, making them one of nature's most intriguing creatures. But that's not all. These belly ears are also crucial in grasshopper communication, especially during courtship. Males serenade potential mates with a song created by rubbing their hind legs against their wings. The females listen, belly first, deciding whether to accept or reject the suitor. So, grasshoppers might just hear you coming belly first. Imagine surviving a week without your head sounds impossible, not for a cockroach. Indeed, these critters have a remarkable knack for survival. Even in the most bizarre circumstances, a cockroach can live for up to a week without its head. But how? Well, it's because they don't breathe the way we do. Instead of inhaling and exhaling through their mouths, cockroaches breathe through tiny tubes in their bodies called spiracles. Even without a head, their bodies can continue to draw in air. Moreover, a cockroach's body isn't as dependent on its brain as ours are. The creature's body can perform basic functions like standing, moving around, and even mating, without the need for a brain. It's the eventual lack of water that does the decapitated cockroach in, not the loss of its head. A cockroach's survival skills are, quite literally, headless. Lizards have a rather unconventional way of smelling their environment. Instead of relying solely on their nasal passages like us humans, they employ their tongues for this task. You've probably seen a lizard sticking out its tongue periodically. This isn't just for show or to look intimidating. Each time a lizard flicks its tongue, it's gathering microscopic particles from the air. These particles are then transferred to a specialized sensory organ in the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ. This organ is lined with cells that decode the chemical information present in the particles, essentially translating them into smells that the lizard's brain can interpret. This interesting adaptation helps lizards to detect the presence of prey, predators, and potential mates in their vicinity. Their tongues are like little chemical detectors, providing them with crucial information about their surroundings. So lizards don't just stick out their tongues to look cool, they're actually taking a deep sniff of their surroundings. Clouds may look fluffy and light, but did you know they can weigh up to a million pounds? It's a staggering concept to grasp, isn't it? These floating masses that seem so ethereal are actually quite substantial. But how does this work? Well, Clouds are composed of tiny water droplets or ice crystals that have coalesced around particles in the atmosphere. The weight of a cloud is calculated by taking the water density, the volume of the cloud, and factoring in gravity. It's a bit like calculating the weight of a crowd at a concert, 
only instead of people, you're counting droplets and crystals. Even though these droplets are tiny, they can add up to a significant weight when you consider the vast size of some clouds. So clouds aren't as light as they look, they're actually million pound floating water reservoirs. Men are more likely to be colorblind than women, ever wondered why? Let's delve into the science behind this. Colorblindness is often a result of a genetic condition which affects the X chromosome. Now, women have two X chromosomes, while men have one X and one Y. If a woman inherits a defective gene causing colorblindness on one X chromosome, her other X chromosome can compensate for it. Essentially, she has a backup. On the other hand, men have no such luck. If the X chromosome they inherit carries this defective gene, they're out of luck because the Y chromosome doesn't carry the information necessary to correct it. So in short, the reason why men are more likely to be colorblind than women boils down to the role of the genetic dice and the fact that men don't have a backup X chromosome. Genetics play a fascinating role in our lives, right down to how we see colors. A single blood cell takes about a minute to make a complete circuit of the body. Imagine being a red blood cell, embarking on a journey through the vast network of veins, arteries and capillaries that make up your circulatory system. Your starting point? The heart, the grand conductor of this biological symphony. As a red blood cell your main mission is to transport oxygen. Your journey begins in the heart's left chamber where you're pumped into the body's superhighway the aorta. From there you travel through progressively smaller arteries and capillaries delivering life-sustaining oxygen to every organ and tissue. After the delivery you're tasked with picking up carbon dioxide, the body's waste product. Now it's time to head back home. You enter the veins, moving towards the heart's right chamber before being pumped to the lungs to offload carbon dioxide and reload on oxygen. So, in the time it took to watch this video, your blood cells have made multiple trips around your body. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's take a moment to recap these incredible science facts. The world around us is filled with wonder and curiosity, teeming with facts that may seem more like fiction at first glance. To start, who would have thought that our very own planet boasts more trees than there are stars in our solar system? It's a testament to the lush green beauty that Mother Nature has bestowed upon us. And consider the speed of light, a dazzling eight minutes from the sun to our Earth. It's a cosmic journey that illuminates our world every single day. Moving on to the animal kingdom, we have grasshoppers, those tiny creatures who hear the world through their bellies. It's a fascinating twist on anatomy that certainly gives a new meaning to gut feeling. Then there are the resilient cockroaches. These little survivors can live for an entire week, even without their heads. It's a puzzling if not slightly macabre testament to their survival instincts. And let's not forget our scaly friends the lizards who use their tongues to smell. It's a unique sensory adaptation that sets them apart in the animal kingdom. In the realm of weather we learned that clouds can weigh as much as a million pounds. It's a mind-boggling fact considering they float so effortlessly above us. We've also uncovered that men are more prone to colorblindness than women. It's a quirk of genetics that affects how we perceive the world around us. And finally we follow the journey of a single blood cell as it completes a full circuit of the body in just one minute. It's a testament to the tireless work of our bodies, keeping us alive and well. Science never ceases to amaze, does it? Stay curious, stay fascinated, and remember there's always more to learn.